The Life and Sad Ending of Jessica Lang Jessica Lang was born Jessica Phyllis Lang on April 20, 1949, in Cloquet, Minnesota, U.S. While sharing an apartment with Jerry Hall and Grace Jones, Lang was discovered by fashion illustrator Antonio Lopez and became a model for the Wilhelmina Modeling Agency. In 1973, she returned to the U.S. and began work in New York City as a waitress at the Lion's Head Tavern in Greenwich Village. While modeling, Lang was discovered by Hollywood producer Dino De Laurentiis, who was looking to cast an ingenue for his remake of King Kong. Lang made her film debut in the 1976 King Kong, beating actresses Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn for the role of Damsel in Distress. Despite the film's success, it was the fifth highest grossing film of 1976 and received an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects, it and Lange's performance were widely panned. But film critic Pauline Kael wrote, The movie is sparked by Jessica Lange's fast yet dreamy comic style. Has the high, wide forehead and clear-eyed transparency of Carol Lombard in My Man Godfrey, one-liners so dumb that the audience laughs and moans at the same time, yet they're in character, and when Lang says them she holds the eye and you like her, the way people liked Lombard. Lang won the 1976 Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. She remained a favorite of Kale, who later wrote, she has a facial structure that the camera yearns for, and she has talent, too. At the close of the decade, Bob Fosse, whom Lang had befriended and with whom she had carried on a casual romantic affair, cast Lang as the Angel of Death, a part he had written for her in his semi-autobiographical film All That Jazz. She was also considered for the role of Wendy Torrance in The Shining before it went to Shelley Duvall. Lang began the new decade in the light romp How to Beat the High Cost of Living in 1980, co-starring Jane Curtin and Susan St. James, which received mostly negative reviews and quickly disappeared from theaters. A year later, director Bob Raffleson contacted her about a project he was working on with Jack Nicholson, who had recently auditioned Lang for Going South. Raffleson paid Lang a visit in upstate New York, where she was doing summer stock theater and has recounted how he watched her conversing on the telephone for half an hour before their meeting when he decided that he had found the lead for his film. After meeting Lang, he wrote her name down on a piece of paper placed it in an envelope, and sealed it. After several meetings and auditions with other actresses, the final choice was between Lang and Meryl Streep. In the end, Raffleson offered Lang the lead role opposite Nicholson in his remake of the classic film Noir The Postman Always Rings Twice. Upon offering her the part, he gave her the sealed envelope in which he had placed the piece of paper with her name on it. The film received mixed reviews, but Lang was highly praised for her performance. Filming Francis, which co-starred Kim Stanley and Sam Shepard, was a grueling experience for Lang, who poured over the screenplay scene by scene, making deep and often taxing connections between her life and farmers to tap into the well of emotions the role required. By the end of the shoot, she was physically and mentally spent and decided to take Stanley's advice to do something light, which led her to accept a supporting role opposite Dustin Hoffman in Sidney Pollock's Tootsie. In 1982, Lang became the first performer in 40 years to receive two Academy Award nominations in the same year, for Frances and for Tootsie, winning the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her work in the latter. Which not only became the second highest grossing film of 1982, after Steven Spielberg's E.T. The Extraterrestrial but also scored an additional nine Oscar nominations, including one for Best Picture. Her performance in the film also earned her a Golden Globe, along with awards from the National Society of Film Critics, the New York Film Critics Circle, the Boston Society of Film Critics, and the Kansas City Film Critics Circle. Lang also won Best Actress at the Moscow International Film Festival for her performance in Francis. Lang next produced and starred, again opposite Shepard, in 1984's Country, 
a topical film depicting a family during the farm crisis. Her performance earned her Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress. At the close of 1985, she portrayed legendary country singer Patsy Cline in Carol Rye's biopic Sweet Dreams, opposite Ed Harris, Ann Wedgworth, and John Goodman. She was nominated a fourth time for an Oscar and came in second place for both the National Board of Review Award for Best Actress and the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Actress. In several interviews, Meryl Streep has stated that she begged Rice, who directed her in 1981's The French Lieutenant's Woman, for the role of Klein, but that his first choice had always been Lang. Streep has been quite vocal and adamant in her praise for Lange's performance, calling her beyond wonderful in the film and saying, I couldn't imagine doing it as well or even coming close to what Jessica did because she was so amazing in it. In 1989, she starred in Costa Gavras' Music Box as a Hungarian lawyer defending her father of Nazi war crimes. Her performance earned her a fifth Academy Award nomination and a sixth Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. In 2012, on an episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Streep once again praised Lange's work in the film, saying, Nobody could do that better than Lang. I mean, it was divine. In 2018, she further commented, Jessica did it better than any human being could possibly have done it. Streep has also said, every job I've ever taken, about three weeks before I begin, I call up my agent and say, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I am right for it. They should call up Jessica Lang. Lang continued making films throughout the 1990s, periodically taking time off to raise her children and do theater and television-based projects. She began the decade in Paul Brickman's warmly received Men Don't Leave, for which she earned positive reviews and came in third place for the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Actress. She was then approached by Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro, who had both auditioned her for the role of Jake LaMotta's wife in Raging Bull, to star in a remake of Cape Fear. The film was the year's 12th highest grossing film. In 1992, Lang once again starred opposite De Niro in Erwin Winkler's Night and the City, and in a television adaptation of Willa Cather's O Pioneers, receiving her seventh Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. In 1994, Lang was lauded for her performance as a manic depressive army wife in the 1960s in Tony Richardson's final film, Blue Sky. In 1995, she won the Academy Award for Best Actress for this performance, along with the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Award for Best Actress, the Utah Film Critics Association Award for Best Actress, and the San Jordi Award for Best Actress. She also came in second place for the National Board of Review Award for Best Actress, the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Actress, and the Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Actress. She became the second actress, after Streep, to follow a Best Supporting Actress Oscar with a Best Actress Oscar, an achievement not repeated until nearly 20 years later by Kate Blanchett. In 1995, Lang gave critically lauded performances in Losing Isaiah, opposite Halle Berry, and Rob Roy, with Liam Neeson. The same year, she reprised her role as Blanche Dubois in a CBS television adaptation of A Streetcar Named Desire, opposite Alec Baldwin, Diane Lane, and John Goodman. She received glowing reviews for her performance, which earned her fourth Golden Globe Award and her first Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie. The next year, she starred opposite Michelle Pfeiffer in a film adaptation of Jane Smiley's Pulitzer Prize-winning novel A Thousand Acres. Lang received her ninth Golden Globe Award nomination and won the Venice Film Festival's Shermie Damore Award for her performance in the film. Lang began the new millennium with a London stage production of Eugene O'Neill's Long Day's Journey Into Night, 
playing the part of the morphine-addicted Mary Tyrone, for which she became the first American actress to receive an Olivier Award nomination. In 2003, Lang starred opposite Tom Wilkinson in HBO's Normal, a film about a man who reveals to his wife his decision to have a sex change, for which she received nominations for the Emmy and Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress in a Miniseries or Movie. In 2009, Lang co-starred as Big Edie, opposite Drew Barrymore, in HBO's Grey Gardens, directed by Michael Succi and based on the 1975 documentary of the same name. The film was a huge success garnering 17 Primetime Emmy Award nominations and winning five. Lang won her first Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie after two previous nominations in the same category. She also received her 11th Golden Globe Award nomination and second Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for her performance, losing both awards to Barrymore. In addition, she won a second Primetime Emmy Award a fifth Golden Globe Award, and her first Screen Actors Guild Award, after two previous nominations. In 2012, she had a supporting role in her Grey Gardens director Michael Susky's box office hit The Vow, opposite Channing Tatum and Rachel McAdams, but also returned to star as the lead in the second season of American Horror Story, titled American Horror Story, Asylum. Once again, she was chosen by TV Guide and Entertainment Weekly for giving one of the best performances of 2012. She won a second Dorian Award for Best TV Performance of the Year by the GALECA and received a fifth Emmy nomination, a 13th Golden Globe Award nomination, a fourth Screen Actors Guild Award nomination, a second Saturn Award nomination, and a second Critics' Choice Television Award nomination. In 2013, the third season of American Horror Story, American Horror Story, Coven, garnered the series its highest ratings to that point and has held the record for garnering the series its highest on average ratings. Lang earned a third Primetime Emmy Award for Best Actress in a Movie or Miniseries, a third Dorian Award for Best TV Performance of the Year, and her first Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Actress in a Movie or Miniseries. She also received her 14th Golden Globe nomination, her 5th Screen Actors Guild Award nomination, and her 5th Satellite Award nomination for her performance on the series. Though self-admittedly not a singer, Lange's covers of David Bowie's life on Mars and Lana Del Rey's Gods and Monsters for the show were both hugely popular, receiving heavy circulation on YouTube and charting in the top 50 on the iTunes music charts. For her work on the show, Lang received her 7th Primetime Emmy Award nomination, her 15th Golden Globe. On November 12, 2016, Lang was honored at the Cameramage Film Festival, where she was awarded the Krzysztof Kieślowski Award for acting. In 2019, Lang received her 10th Emmy nomination, her first in the Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series category for her work in American Horror Story, Apocalypse. Lang will portray Marlene Dietrich in the early 60s in a feature film for Netflix directed by Ryan Murphy. Lang was married to photographer Francisco Paco Grande from 1970 to 1982. In 1982, she met and entered into a relationship with playwright Sam Shepard. They had two children, daughter Hannah Jane Shepard and son Samuel Walker Shepard. Lang has also revealed that she suffers from severe bouts of depression, once admitting, I have never been a believer in psychoanalysis or therapy or anything like that. I've never done that. She confessed, though my dark side is dormant right now, it continues to play a big role in whatever capacity I have to be creative. That's the well I am able to tap into where all the anguish, rage, and sadness are stored.